Yo, what is up, guys? Wing the Life here, coming at you with my second video or second episode, I guess you guys could say, of my map guides for DLC Apocalypse. Now, again, this is only available on Xbox for right now. In a month or so, it'll be available for PS3 and PC. Just letting you guys know before I start that this is an Apocalypse map from the Xbox. And let's get started with the class setup. Now, the class setup is an MP7 now. <laughs> Usually, I hate the MP7 with a passion. Now, I decided to use the MP7 because I really wasn't having much luck with any other gun. And I figured, well, I, I might as well try all the guns because I want to give you guys the best tips I possibly can. So, I uh, picked up the MP7 and I totally went ham. And the next game, I used the MP7, which is the gameplay right here. And I just went ham with my Orbital VSAT. Warthog, I believe it's called, and K9 unit. Now, what I'm using on the MP7 is an MP7 is a suppressor. I almost said MP7, but it's a suppressor. Now, the suppressor is a very good attachment for this, especially for this map, because this map is really annoying, especially when you're just getting grenades thrown at you and flashes and sock charges and all that junk, because if you don't know, Frost, <laughs> if you haven't played it already, is literally one of the smallest maps Black Ops 2 has made so far. Now, Frost is basically Nuketown size, maybe even a little smaller. You can get the A to C in a matter of seconds. As long as you have lightweight and extreme condition, you can literally get there probably in like 5 seconds or so. That's how small the map is. But the map is a little bit bigger because it has a little underground bridge where you can go to. Now, that's personally where I like to stay, but in this gameplay I didn't too much, but... As I was saying, I run Suppressor because it is a big map, so I want to stay hit, it, big map, what am I saying? It's a small map, so I like to stay hidden, so I, I put on the Suppressor, and I'm using Pack-A-Punch Camo in case any of you guys were wondering what camo this is. Now, I like Extend Mags, that's my second attachment on the MP7. I use uh, Extend Mags because it always helps you out when trying to get the job done. The more the bullets, the more you can pack, and it's overall just a great attachment to use. Now, I like to use Flak Jacket because, again, it's a small map. You're getting grenades thrown at you from every direction, C4. Flak Jacket really helps and gets the job done for you not to die. Now, I like to use Scavenger because I am using high streaks, and most of the time I use high streaks. Now, I found out the best streaks were K9 Unit because K9 Unit, there is like quite a few. There's a little bit buildings. There's quite a few, though. So, the K9, you can hurry up and get there and just totally rape them. And stuff like that. And then Warthog, uh, once the K9 unit kills them, they spawn back in. The Warthog comes through and just rips them apart. Surprisingly, the Warthog did really great on this map, unlike some other streaks. So I really recommend K9 unit and Warthog. And of course, I always got to use my Orbital VSAT so I know where everyone is on the map at all times. Now, I use C4. I always use C4 because C4 is great. It goes with using flak jacket kind of. It's just you, it's C4 you gotta have. You always get those doubles and triple kills. It That's really key to get to your next streaks. Now, for second perk I use is scavenger. Again, when going for higher streaks, I'm not necessarily saying you have to use high streaks. Also, another alternate kill streak setup you could use is Hellstorm, UAV, and Lightning Strike. That would do pretty well. You can maybe throw in a sentry gun or a death machine there. But, uh, that's an alternate kill streak you can use, and again, Scavenger, like I said, great for going with those high streaks, or just overall good to have. Now, I use Tactical Mask again, I'm getting Shock Charge, throwing Concussions at all the time, it's just really annoying. And then I use Dexterity, because there's a little, there's a lot of jump spots that you can use to get to be, like, if you guys see, I go on top of the boat and hurry up and I can just jump down, jump up to B and get the flag captured. Or with C, there's like a window you can jump up and hurry up and get to C. It's just, there's just so many spots that you need to jump and move and crawl under and stuff. Dexter is just really the perk for this map. And let's get into the map route. Now, the map route. The map route is pretty insane because it's such a small map. You can't really tell which map route. There's a lot of map routes you can use, but personally, the one I like to use is I hurry up and run to the right side of the building you can see from the very start when it's counting down match begins in 3 2 1 the building to the right and i like to run in there jump down out the window and actually go on top of that boat and i can jump to b or pick off any guys if i do see on b first and uh, overall i can hurry up and get my b cap and that's 200 plus points and if you see anyone and you get to kill while you're on the flag 
that's another 200 points. So right off the bat, you can get like 400 points. Insane stuff right there. So that's the map where I like to take. And actually, at the end of this video, you guys will see a little bit of a spawn trap you can do on this map. It's just insane. Except I went into the spawn like a retard. But after looking back on the gameplay, I realized that <laughs> it's a spawn trap and it's pretty sick. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, second map guide overall. I uh, hope you guys have a great day when you guys see this. Tomorrow will be Labor Day, so I hope you guys have a great Labor Day. I hope you guys are doing something fun with your family and friends and stuff like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Peace.